All right, so the next type of transformation is called a translation. And translations, like when you say that you're going to translate something, you're just going to shift it or slide it. That's pretty much it. You're going to move it left to right. You're going to move it up down. This is what most people decide that this is their favorite slash easiest one ever. Um, the idea is that we're going to take a point and I could give you verbal directions like, hey, let's take this point and go left five. Uh, let's not do that because I don't have room. Let's go right five and down two. So if I say like right five and down two, you could just pick up the point one, two, three, four, five, and then down two. And, and voila, it is done. Now, mathematically, there's other ways to think about it. I'm going to pull a little bit of science into it because, um, Whenever you're moving a certain direction uh, horizontally and vertically, um, you're affecting the point by something called a vector. You'll hear this word in science class. Um, a vector is basically something that, that has direction and length uh, or magnitude and direction if you've seen the movie um, despicable me. Anyways, so a vector has both magnitude and direction and it has an effect on your point. So in other words, um, what is happening is if I say uh, that you are going to let the vector, in this case it would be 5, negative 2, um, shift your point like our original point, what was that by the way? 1, 2, negative 3, positive 3. So if we're going to write out something like this, the vector 5, negative 2 will shift our point negative 3, 3, then what you're saying guys and gals is that um, you first draw a vector, which by the way you always start at the origin, and you take that and you're going 5, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Okay, a vector looks sort of like an arrow like this, okay? And that's how long it is, and it's going in this direction. So you could think of it as like south, what would that be? Southwest. And this blue vector is going to shift your original point to some new point. So the idea is you're taking this vector from physics or science, redrawing it here, and it is directly moving your point in this right five down two position. So there's so many different ways that you can think about it. Um, this is an easy way for most because they just look at the slope and they go, oh, okay, it just went down two and over five. So I'm going to take this point and go down two over five, draw the little arrow, and then move the point. Um, another way that people think about it is it actually affects their Y coordinate. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, back to this paper that you have in your packet. Um, if you're going to vertically and horizontally shift why don't you want to work? Shift or slide a figure. Um, the symbolic form would be that you take this point that we had, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, your original point, there we go, your original point XY, and it's going to be affected by some vector, okay? So um, <laughs> maybe it's like x, y is affected by your vector. And I'm going to put your, I'm going to write it like this, okay? I'm going to write um, x, v, y, v. Now all that this means is that it's your vectors x and your vectors y. And what this means, okay, and some people call it even something totally different, but I'm going to call it this. What this means is that you're just going to add this, add them together. Uh, that's the effect it's going to have. You're going to do x plus the vectors x, comma, y plus the vectors y. That's what you're doing mathematically. If you don't like the fact that I used x's, and X's and Y's in both, then change it. Some people use an H and a K if they don't like this, but I'm using X and an X. The XV represents your horizontal movement and um, your horizontal shift. This is the whole like left or right, left or right. And then the YV is the Y part of the vector that's going to move it vertically. Okay, vertical shift or up and down. That's an and sign. Okay, so 
This is a great way. I know some of you are thinking, wow, that's a really great way to overcomplicate something that moves left, right, up, and down. And I think you're absolutely right. It is a great way to overcomplicate it. But it's important that you see the movement as a combination of horizontal and vertical pieces coming together. It really is. It's going to help you out in physics a lot. So let's do an example. Um, we're going to take these points. Let me switch colors here. Negative 6, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. And then negative 3, 1, 2, 3, positive 1. And then 1, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the part where you mute me so you don't hear me singing my points and you graph them yourself. Negative 2, negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. So does this look like a rectangle? Why, it sure does. And I knew that because, once again, it told me. Okay, so here's my rectangle. Q, oh, I wish I had labeled my points. That was stupid of me. Okay, real quick. Q was this fella. R was here. S was here and T was here. Okay, so these are my original points, what we call our pre-image, and we're going to move it. And notice the way that this is this is given to you. This is saying take your xy and change it to x plus 5, y plus 7. So if you want to relate it to what's up here, everybody, this 5 and this 7 are in the place of what? Well, they're in the place of x, v, and y, v. This is your vector. So it's basically saying take the vector 5, 7 and shift. So um, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. You could either draw your vector over 5 up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ooh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We could do this. Um, that's almost a straight line. We could take that and we're going to shift all of our points in this manner, okay, where we take our vector um, over 5 up 7 and do it to Q, R, T, and S. So let me do that. Um, over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I could draw my little arrow and be like, hey, this is where Q just moved, so that would be my Q prime. Uh, we, could th we, we need to be able to discuss this in words. We just went right 5 and up 7. Uh, we need to be able to label the point. Um, the easiest way is just with, with math. Um, if you want to take your original Q, which was, it was the point negative 6, negative 1, and like literally add the 5 and 7, plus 5, plus 7, that's the easiest way. Or you can look at your picture and be like, oh, that's it, negative 1, positive something. Negative 1, positive 6. So the math works out here, and on your picture, the math also works out. Ain't it great when it works out? So just be real careful counting and moving your points, and uh, once you do that, you'll see your image over here. This rectangle will be over here somewhere. I don't want to finish it because it's a video and you will get bored. So go ahead and hit pause and finish it if you like. I'm going to come over to this one and do una mas. Uh, on this one, let me zoom in because, oh, that was a terrible zoom. Let's unzoom. Okay, that didn't help either. Whatever. So um, I'll zoom back. So I'm going to do this one. Uh, I'm just going to do one point just like before. Let me do the point C. So C is 2, negative 1, and I'm going to use the same color as I did before. I'm a big fan of using color to show myself pre-images and post-images. So the pre-image I'll do in red, 2, negative 1, and it's telling me to do the following with it. Well, guys, a minus 3 and a positive 8, the point negative 3, positive 8 is somewhere in this quadrant. So I'm going left and up. So you can think of it as the vector negative 3 positive 8 is having an effect on this. Left 3, up 8. All of these are ways you can think about it. Um, or you can just take the point and actually do the math. If I plug in this 2 for this x, I'm going to get 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. If I take this negative 1 and plug it in for this y, I'm going to get negative 1 plus 8 is 7. So this should move to the point negative 1, positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just to make sure that that works, I'm going to go back to my original point, 
my pre-image point, and I'm going to do this vector and make sure that it lines up. So from here, negative 3, positive 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it does work. So I can show myself that the over 3, up 8, that that vector does move that point to the correct place. Woo, it's exhausting. So go ahead and finish this shape out. Make sure that you connect the dots when you're done. It should look like a triangle. I would even label it with the primes. That's important. And I would call it, you know, pre-image and image just to keep that fresh on my brain. I think uh, that's it for this one. In our next video, we'll do something like number nine um, that's on your paper where we combine stuff. And those are fun. All right, peace out.